Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're talking about a really easy way you could strum through Anywhere With You by Jake Owen. And it starts with a really cool intro lick where you go second fret on the G string and kind of do a hammer on the third fret, and then go back to second fret on the G. So I'm kind of playing second fret and kind of putting my finger down to get the sound to carry, and then back to two on the G, and then we go third fret on the D, and then we do another third fret on the D, and then second fret on the D, and then third fret on the D, and then second fret on the D, and then third fret on the A. And it may not sound exactly like the recording yet, we're going to talk about where we're going to move that with the capo later. So all together you got two, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, three. And the chords that would actually kind of back that up, actually, this is kind of tricky because the very first chord actually is the, the trickiest one and you don't really need it necessarily to cover the song. But the chords that would back up that lick um, would be a B flat major. And the way you play B flat major normally is you do a full bar, and we'll talk about a really easy way to do this in a minute. And you put second finger on the D string on the third fret, third finger on the G string on the third fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a B flat major chord. It sounds really, really happy. But a lot of times what I like to do is I'll kind of take my third finger and kind of put him over the D, G, and B and kind of do it as a double bar for a B flat major. But a really easy B flat major, if you're just starting out and you don't want to do the bar chords, first finger is going to go high on the first fret, third finger on the G string on the third fret, pinky on the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top three or the top four strings, that sounds a B flat major. And if you're a little bit more adventurous, you could take the second finger and kind of add him in on the D string on the third fret and kind of do this as a B flat major that way. And the, the, the chords that kind of back up that lick, we do that B flat twice. And then we go to an F major. And we'll talk about a really easy way to do this in a minute. But if you know the full bar F major, you do first finger across the entire first fret. Second finger goes to the G string on the second fret. Third finger on the A string on the third fret. And the pinky goes to the D string on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like an F major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. Um, but a good substitute for the F major is something called F major 7. So if you don't want to kind of work with the bars, F major 7 is a pretty easy, good, good substitute. So you could put first finger on the B string, first fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret. Third finger on the D string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E, that sounds like F major 7. Which sounds really, really good. <laughs> or really, really happy. And then from, from the F major, we're going to be going to a C major. And the way you play C major, first finger is going to kind of stay on the B string, first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds a C major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. So on our intro, we kind of got the B flat major with two downs, F with a down, and then you've kind of got that lick that you could throw in where you got the three, two, three, two, three, and then kind of do a big C chord. going in, into like the rest of our intro where we got the C major and then we're going to be going to F major and then we do another C major and then another F major and then we do another C major and then another F major so from the F major we're going to go to an A minor chord and the way you play A minor first finger is going to actually stay on the B string first fret second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret and third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret and if you strum all those together that sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really really sad and then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. And it sounds really, really happy. And actually, on our chorus, which kind of becomes kind of our intro is part of our chorus, we're going to end up kind of working those chords through. So we got kind of C major, F, C major, C major, F, A minor, G major. But a lot of times with this song, I like this to make it more interesting. I like adding something called a strum pattern to it. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. And we'll talk about another strum pattern later on. But just to try that on the C chord, you'd have C, down, up. One way to kind of work the intro part is the weird thing is we're going to end up halving a lot of those chords and actually we end up doing this in our chorus too and one way to do that is to do a down down up on each of those chords through the intro so you have the c with down down up left down down up c down down up left down down up c down down up left down down up a minor down down up g down down up so that's a little weird a 
another way to kind of work it would be taking the whole down, down, up, up, down, up, and then halving it. So you could do the C with the down, down, up, and then go to F for up, down, up, C, down. sounds like the tune is if you took the C and did the down down and then switched to the F on the up stroke and kind of halved it that way. So you'd have C down, down F on the up, up, down C on the down, down F on the up, up, down C on the down, down F on the up, up, down A minor on the down, down D on the up, up, down up. And then from there we'd be going into our verse part. And on our first, actually, we get to use that whole strum pattern and throw it through each of the chords. So we got kind of C major with down, down, up, up, down, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, B minor, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, B, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then we kind of be on our chorus part. So then we'd be on our chorus, so if we tried that like with the halfing thing, we have the C with the down, down, up, up, down, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, down, B minor, down, down, G, down, down, up. Or if we tried it with doing the down, down, up, up, down, up, halfing, we'd have C, down, down, up, up, up. Splitting the down, down, up, up, down, you'd have C, down, F on the up, up, down, C on the down, down, F on the up, up, down, C on the down, down, F on the up, up, down, A minor on the down, down, G on the up, up, down, up. And then at the end of our course, there's this really cool tag where we kind of do the F with just four downs. Down, 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 down. And then we do a big G with a down. And I like to kind of kill it with the string. So we got F, down, 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 G. So, so that's kind of the basics of how we would play through the song. But then the weird thing is instead of starting on, on a B-flat major, like for the intro, or blah, blah, blah. So that's the basics of the song, but, but instead of starting on a, a C major, like with, with that intro and with, with our verse and our chorus, um, Jake Owen is actually starting on an F major chord. So what you want to do to play along with the recording is kind of take a capo, and if you put the capo on fifth fret, then now your C major is really an F major, your, your F major is really a B flat major, and then your A minor is really a D minor, and your G is really a C major chord. And on the intro part where we got the B flat major, we're really playing an E flat major. But just to try that, like with the intro part, you could do just that lick where you got the two, three, two, three, three, two, three, two, three. Or we could try that with the, 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 the chords where you'd have the B flat with a down, down, F down. We'll be going into our chorus part for, for the rest of our intro where we got that C down up F down C down down up F down down up C down down up F down down up A minor down down G down down up. Or you can do it some of those other ways. And then we'd be on our verse where we got the C down up. that down down up like we were doing earlier or we could take the down down up up down up and half it where you got the C down up F up down C down down up F up down C down down up F up down A minor down down up G up down up or you could try that other way of having the down down up up down where you got the C down up 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 down C down down up up Course, we got the F, 2, 3, 4, G. And then we kind of be going back to our chorus and repeating it. One other thing that, that I would think about adding to this song there is kind of working through a, a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you tap your foot and you divide it into two parts one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 
two, that's called an eighth note. And the down, down, up, up, down, up is kind of working off of that subdivision for the beat. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide it into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And what it really sounds like, like, like uh, Jake Owen is doing, is working off a down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, sixteenth note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is like if you took the C and just did a down for one, two, and three, and did an up for four, that's what you do on the first beat. So down, up, one, two, three, four. It sounds like he's doing an up on two, down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, 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 one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the third beat, it sounds like you're doing up on two and four. So you're going one, two, three, four, one, up, up, one, two, three, four, one, up, up. And then on the last beat, it sounds like you'd be doing down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up. together you got down up up down up up down up down up down up up down up up down up down up down up up down up up down up down up down up up down up up down up down up now the weird part about how we were having things before is it sounds like Jake's doing the down up up on the C and then going to the F for the down So we tried that through our chorus, right, which is also kind of part of our intro. We'd have the C, up, up, down, F on the down, up, up, down, up, down, C on the down, up, up, F on the down, up, up, down, up, down, C on the down, up, up, F on the down, up, up, down, up, down, A minor down, up, up, G, up, up, down, up, down, up. And then we tried that through our verse, we'd actually get to do that whole strum pattern. So we have the C with the down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, A minor down. We got the C, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, and down, up, up, down, up, down, A minor down, up, up, G, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C, down, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, A minor down, up, up, G, up, up, down, down, and the F, two, three, four, G. And then you actually be going back to your course and repeating. We got the C, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C, down. again so we got C So we got the C, up, up, F, up, up, down, up, down, C. This chorus, it, it kind of does that build up three times on the F and G. And so we got F, one, two, three, four, G, one, two, three, four, F, one, two, three, four, G, one, two, three, four, F, one, two, three, four, and then a big G. But that's the basics of how you can play Anywhere With You by Jake Owen. So good luck!